So this is Portland's Children's Museum. You can't get in here if you're not accompanied by a kid. We don't have any kids. We tried to call and ask if we could probably shoot for the show. They said that they would bring it up in the next meeting and we never heard back from them. So we will not be shooting in here. They're lost. Hi, my name is Lee and this is B. We love to travel and we have very strong opinions. This place is so beautiful, I wanna punch it in the face! So we took it upon ourselves to visit some of the highest rated places on the internet to make sure they were really worth visiting so that you don't have to. You're welcome. Not worth it. This week we decided to visit the Oregon Zoo once in the summer and once in the winter. Because if you're like me, you've never been to the zoo in the winter. And I'll tell you right now, the zoo in the winter is terribly underrated. You see the orangutans at 2 p.m. There are certain animals that you expect to thrive in the winter, but this mountain goat doesn't seem to mind either way. This snow leopard is clearly conserving its energy so we can get ready for summer. I was really surprised to find out that the penguins were kept indoors. But if you look really closely, you can see the difference between a penguin in the winter and a penguin in the summer. This is a penguin in the winter. And this is a penguin in the summer. One thing I like about the zoo in the winter is that there's plenty of room to walk around. Another thing I like about the zoo in the winter is that you get to see animals that you normally don't see in the snow. Whenever it gets too cold for the elephants on the outside, they come in here for an aerobic workout. You might think Indian elephants might be uncomfortable in the snow, but these guys don't seem to like the heat either. Unfortunately, in the winter you don't get to take advantage of everything the zoo has to offer. So when the summer rolls around, you gotta go for it. I'm not 100% sure this train is adult size. One of my favorite animals is the sea otter. I'm really jealous of their flexibility. I have about 10 minutes of this footage, so email me if you want to see the rest. This is the Amur tiger who was built for the snow. This is the same Amur tiger who clearly prefers the summer. Now we're headed to Africa to see the giraffes in the winter. My apologies, here are the giraffes in the winter. 
Here are a few fun facts about bats. 1. Fruit bats do exist. Vegetable bats do not. 2. Bats are incontinent. And 3. If you ever film or take a picture of a bat, always turn the camera upside down. I'm here at the Oregon State Zoo. Obviously, I'm here in the winter. This place got 4.4 stars. I definitely think it's worth it, considering how big the place is, and it is pretty cheap to get in here. I came to the zoo in the winter because I've never been to the zoo in the winter. So, there you have it. So, we hope you enjoyed our trip to the zoo. And if you didn't, watch it next season. Maybe you'll like it better. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and go to thejourneybean.com for more pictures of our trips.